Hey YouTube, Aiden slash Just Aiden here. Um, reminder, if you want a lesson with me over the internet, sign up for a lesson below in the form. And if you don't want a lesson, then cool. Forget about it. Moving on. Um, I heard a friend play this. A friend that I've actually gotten a lot of exercises from. Um, probably about a month, month and a half ago now. Um, it's nice, just a nice little slur exercise. And I started to try and play it, and I could not. It's super easy, and I could not play it. I could tell my chops were so afraid of this exercise. I would start it, and then just literally it would cut out. Um, and so I was like, all right, this is something I need to work on, obviously, because it's kind of unacceptable that I can't play this super easy thing that my friend is just playing so beautifully. The exercise is really simple. It's just this. That's the whole thing. And you're like, really? That was hard for you? Yes, that was almost impossible for me, especially on um, small tenor, big tenor, especially. I, I basically couldn't play that. I would play the bottom note and get so afraid of slurring up that I would just stop playing. Um, because especially the the B flat partial, the tuning B flat fourth partial, um, would start to double buzz, or the slurs would be really bad, or it would just sound bad, I wouldn't have the right sound. And so this is an exercise I've been working on a lot. And I think it's a really good one. It gives you a nice fundamental starting note, just a low B flat, second partial. And then you go through the series, do a couple, couple easy glisses, and then come back down to that same note. Even on that one, I moved from the low G too early because I'm afraid of that, that skip up to the D. And the sound kind of disappeared and it didn't make for a great slur. You can watch, I'm not moving a whole lot. I'm really trying to keep this all stable. I'm not saying, and it's, it's really hard to distinguish between these things, I'm not saying this should be really tight and tense and lots of just muscle like you could punch yourself in the face and nothing would happen. No, this stuff should be stable and all the chop stuff in the middle should be nice and supple, nice and easy to move. Um, you can think of your chops like this. Say these are your lips, right? Um, and I just have multiple fingers, so this is how they look. And you can have your chops be like this and just like, Ugh! Da, da, everything's kind of hard, right? What we want is this. Da, da, just nice and easy. There's no extra muscle being used in the middle of the chops, which is what these are right now. All the muscle usage is out here. And it's not super tight. You're not like flexing your face all the time, but it's enough that this can be supple and this can be stable. Instead of maybe the other way around where this stuff is kind of loose and everything in the middle is kind of tight, right? Even then, on the start of the B flat, I was a little too tight in the middle of my face, and the note would start right away. Obviously, the air is very important. If your air is, is slow to the start of the note, it's not going to start right away. So you can either do this with a nice da attack like I'm doing right now, or air attack. Just make sure the air attacks are set up in the same way you would do any other attack. Everything is still stable. You're not going, all right, air attack, blah, 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 making everything loose. And I'll just do this down the slide. And I do the last couple, um, sixth and seventh, I'll come up to the actual positions after the first couple notes so I can do the glisses. Um, I don't like doing the glisses in sixth and seventh because um, this slide's not that good and uh, just kind of destabilizes my face. 
that's an excuse probably. That's a nice easy exercise. Um, give it a shot. Just try and make it all sound really good, really open, very free by letting the middle of your chops kind of do the work with the air going over them. See you guys next time.